You are listening to socialtv.co.za with myself, Noctula Quilla. In our top stories, Nickelodeon welcomes 12 participants to annual writing and artist programs. And McDonald's Spotlight's Dorado short film contest returns to help drive inclusivity in film and pave the way for new Latino storytellers. Starting off with our top story, 12 new participants join Nickelodeon's annual writing and artist program designed to develop the next generation of creative voices from underrepresented communities. This year's programs are back in person at the Nickelodeon Animation Studio in Burbank for the first time since 2020, where group members will develop their skills with hands-on work. The long-running writing program enters its 23rd year, while 2023 marks the 12th year of the artist program. Both programs are overseen by the Paramount Office of Global Inclusion and aligned with the company's Content for Change initiative. The writing program offers aspiring television writers with unique voices from underrepresented communities the opportunity to hone their skills and launch their careers as writers on Nickelodeon scripted live action and animated television productions. Nickelodeon's artist program opens the door for talented artists with unique voices from the underrepresented communities by mentoring, developing and staffing emerging artists with diverse backgrounds and experience on the studio's animated production and design and storyboard roles. Moving on to our next story, McDonald's USA continues to pave the way for Latinos on the golden screen with the return of Spotlight Dorado. The short film contest is one of the ways in which the Golden Arches aims to use its scale to empower and amplify the voices of Latino talent, especially in areas where the community is underrepresented. This year, McDonald's is casting Anthony Ramos, Grammy-winning artist, Golden Globe and Emmy-nominated actor, to take on a new role as a program mentor, joining a roster of film industry leaders, including the award-winning writer, producer, director and actress Gloria Calderon Killet. Together, they will work to empower and guide three new Spotlight Dorado finalists as they go through the filmmaking process. The emerging filmmakers will also be awarded a production budget of $75,000 each to build their stories from the ground up, getting them closer to making their cinematic dreams come true. Today, Ladinos make up nearly 20% of the U.S. population and are a driving force in campus industries including media and entertainment. While Ladinos are avid, moviegoers 24%. Their stories are often overlooked and currently make up only about 1% of those told by Hollywood. Bridging this gap is key to helping shift the narrative about the Latino experience in the U.S. and fostering new voices and perspective is one of the first steps towards driving industry change. FedEx Corp, one of the world's largest express transportation companies, has been recognized by Ethisphere, a global leader in defining and advancing the standards of ethical business practices as one of the 2023 world's most ethical companies. FedEx is being recognized for the first time and is the only honoree in the transportation, trucking, railroad industry category in 2023. This year, a total of 135 honorees were recognized spanning 19 countries and 46 industry. This is a great honor for FedEx and we are pleased to be among this select group of companies with exceptional compliance programs and commitments to advancing business integrity, said Justin Ross, Chief Compliance Officer at FedEx Corporation. Our FedEx team members around the globe have done an incredible job building and maintaining FedEx's strong culture of compliance and ethics, and we are truly appreciative of this esteemed and hard-earned recognition. Ethics Matters organizations that commit to business integrity through robust programs and practices not only elevate standards and expectations for all, but also have better long-term performance, said Ethisphere CEO Erica Salmon Byron. We continue to be inspired by the world's most ethical companies, honorees, and their dedication to making real impact and displaying exemplary values-based leadership. Congratulations to FedEx for earning a place in the world's most ethical companies community. In our final story, T-Mobile announced its latest 25 hometown grant winners bring the total to 175 small towns since the Uncarrier launched the initiative in April 2021 to support rural communities across the country. The Uncarrier dedicated $25 million to find community development projects like revitalized downtown spaces, revamped parks, building renovations and sustainability efforts. And it's making a positive impact for thousands of people in small towns. To select hometown grant recipients, T-Mobile works with Main Street America and Smart Growth America, two organizations with decades of experience helping to build stronger, more prosperous small towns and rural communities. Applications are evaluated based on their level of detail and completeness, potential community impact, project viability, and other considerations. T 
T-Mobile awards up to 25 hometown grants each quarter with a population of 50,000 or less. To recap our top stories, McDonald's Spotlight's Dorado short film contest returns to help drive inclusivity in film and pave the way for new Latino storytellers. For more CSI news, you can visit our website at www.socialtv.co.ca.